Hola amigos, it's Will here from Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of my custom Morpheus figure from Marvel. So please guys sit back, relax while I talk you through why and how I made this guy and everything else in between. So firstly, let's start with the why. I'm going to do a few little angles on this guy while you watch. I, as you probably all know, I'm a little bit of a cheapskate when it comes to action figures. I like to save a few pounds because I like to invest in then those other action figures that I like even more. So for me to justify spending, say for example, 120 quid on an armadillo builder figure um, with all of the other figures, I need to then be in a position to justify, if I want a Morbius in my collection, to cut a few corners and to, uh, and to make a custom one like this. However... I really like this. I prefer it, if I'm honest with you, than the um, than the actual release. This is my own custom design, so you won't find this, to my understanding, in a comic book. Um, this is a completely original idea that I had. And uh, yeah, let me talk you through how I actually made this and some of the details as well in between. So I spoke to a good friend of mine, Stu. Um, we made friends through eBay and uh, what a legend that guy is. Um, he has also come up with the ice slide for my Iceman um, and uh, very, very clever and uh, versatile customizer himself. And he was selling a Morbius. I think he used the head for um, a figure of his own and, um, uh, sorry, uh, used the body for a figure of his own and then didn't have a, a use for the head. So um, I spoke to him, I bought the, bought the head off him as you can see, it's an absolutely badass head sculpt. I didn't really like the body though, it was quite small. I had a spare Undertaker, <laughs> of all things, a Mattel Elite WWE Undertaker figure. And uh, as you can see, the, the body is quite good. Um, I decided to paint all of the boots uh, and varnish gloss them. Um, I've added on little belt buckles. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, I also cut the Undertaker's cape and decided to paint it with a variety of reds coming up to give that sort of like gothic blood look that um, I believe he should be wearing or a comic book artist should draw him wearing. Um, I did the same things with the uh, uh, with sleeves here and it was a big debate because this Undertaker figure was wearing gloves. It was a big debate for myself if I should take off these wristbands but I decided to leave them on and put them red. I think it contrasts quite well with the red here on his uh, jacket collars as well. Now, uh, I haven't actually done any uh, different paintwork to the face. This is actually the original Morbius head. Uh, I just thought it was a bit timely with uh, Jared Leto doing the Morbius film at the moment, uh, and that's uh, coming out in cinemas and uh, to the general public. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to capture, like, if I think of Morbius, I think of like a real badass, like, evil dude, like, that's gonna be rivaling Blade. There's, there's Blade for those of you guys just sitting there next to Randy Roddy Piper's head with his sword uh, and some of the custom figures that I'm working on at the moment. But yeah, I wanted to capture what I personally would like to see out of a Morbius figure. Now, articulation is, as you can expect, with an Elite. If I take this jacket off, then the arms do have a lot more movability. If you move the neck too much, because it is painted, you can see there's a little bit of wear and tear and scratch there. So if I do pose him in different positions, I've just got a basic white that I'll fill in some of those bits with. But generally, I'll have him sitting there with his arms raised, staring over some kind of victim. Uh, he has the full leg articulation that you'd expect in a Marvel Legends, uh, sorry, in a um, uh, Mattel wrestling figure as well. And um, in addition to that, if I just give you a little bit of a comparison, let's just use Cyclops. You can see this guy absolutely towers over him. And that's how I want my Morbius to look. I want him to be staring down with Hellfire and Brimstone and uh, looking to, to suck some X-Men blood. So guys, I hope you've liked that review. I've been very excited to show you my Morbius figure and uh, comparing him next to Cyclops here and with some of this diorama -y stuff in the background from my, my son's collection. Man, he really stands out. I'm so pleased with how he's turned out. So please guys, like, comment, subscribe. Give me a follow if you haven't already. Let me know if you want one of these making yourself because I do take on commissions. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. And from Cyclops, from Morbius and myself, until next time, peace.